became our customer actually uh, uh, in the first year of business itself. And they, uh, it's kind of interesting, the first contract we signed with eBay was not a contract at all. It was a payment through PayPal. Uh, the first business deal with eBay was paid by PayPal. And one of the members of the team charged that to his official credit card. And the manager approved it. That's how we did business. So this is how you bypass procurement, by the way. <laughs> and, and then from there on, um, it, that was for a, a web service stack that e eBay was using that we had uh, implemented in open source. Then they built something called Tuscany, which was their SOA platform. And that used a, the access to web service project that we had created in Apache, that used access to. And we had a support contract for that with them. And a little bit later, they replaced their main routing infrastructure, which was running on an HTTPD module at the time, with ISP. And in fact, uh, uh, that, that was uh, obviously a major evaluation, because they were replacing um, uh, uh, things that handled every message coming into e e eBay. And, uh, and after that replacement, I think maybe not that year, the year after onwards, they, they used to have an annual uh, event where the servers would crash because of overload and so forth. And I think it stopped after a while because we were, they were using our software. But, so, and eBay really has uh, uh, killed us on the ESP. Uh, it helped us survive on the ESP because of that. We ran into problems where I remember we've had you know, four or five days of continuous Debugging in the, in the worst one, it turned out we had nothing to do with it. It was the, it was the hardware load balancer was sending some bit wrong in certain kind of TCP reset packet that was causing one message to drop every once in a while. Uh, after, after many days of going through TCP uh, traces, we found that out and finally had to convince the, the hardware company that this was their technology error and had to get past it. But anyway, uh, but uh, uh, eBay has been a, an amazing customer for us, has challenged us uh, at large scale. I think they do like five to six billion messages a day on our software um, and is still by far the largest uh, uh, message volume customer that we have. And it, it uh, continues to be an amazing partner in challenging uh, for performance in all aspects. Uh, in fact, the ESB uh, performance tuning and, and the reason for it, for us to keep on improving it, uh, it has been eBay, uh, because they were the ones who were like, you know, we run so many hundred servers, we want to cut that down. How do we cut it down? Right? Too many because it's harder to manage that. It's better if you can cut that down by a factor of two. Uh, Ballerina, by the way, is running about two to three times faster than the ESP for some of the scenarios. So, so we're, getting, we're getting better at it. So I'd like to invite uh, Ron Murphy from eBay's platform team. He's, uh, he's been uh, uh, leading the charge on this, and I, mean, I really appreciate his being here to say a few words as well. Hi. So uh, this is from my heart. Um, you know, I, I, um, I'm taking off half my day. Uh, I actually didn't plan to attend today. and. Uh, it's an hour and 15 minute drive up here. And the reason that was worth it to me is what the company represents, WSO2. Um, we started collaborating, as Sanjeeva says, uh, in, in, day, in year one of, of um, their journey. Uh, we were working on Axis 1.1 uh, before that. And it turned out there, you know, some of the folks from Axis team had joined, I guess, and uh, they had started this access too, and uh, that, that got us off on our, our uh, eBay turmeric project. Um, but, you know, and, and Sanjeeva's told the rest of the story pretty well uh, with uh, evolving onto ESB and then scaling to very large amounts of traffic. Um, through that time, uh, one thing I've been struck by is the technical depth of the company and, you know, the, the fact that they're willing to or able to do IBM's game as a far smaller company, and I think effectively compete with IBM. Secondly, the customer focus and the, the degree that they're willing to immerse when we do have a production issue. Um, ESB has definitely tried them by fire, as, as uh, Sanjeeva has said. And then, um, you know, I think just the longevity of the relationship and uh, the, the fact that we've been able to track, uh, you know, it, it strikes me how often uh, our moves in a certain technology direction seem to magically align with theirs. And I know there are no spies on either side, so, you know, it's, uh, it's a very cool thing. So, anyway, uh, congrats to WSO2. I think this is their moment, and uh, I'm glad to be a small part of it. Thanks.
Thank you so much, Tom. Yeah.